enabling document workflow. Uh, it is possible to have a document workflow to be enabled. Basically, what we can do is uh, say, for example, we have a Vitek Open World page, which is actually a content presenter. If someone makes a change to this content, this can be triggered to be a part of workflow and uh, someone else might need to review it and approve it once that is done this content becomes live and available to others to do that uh, let us find the uh, content id of uh, this content presenter login as uh, steve welcome one Click on Avitech Open World page. Press Ctrl Shift E all three together. We are in edit mode, edit mode. Click on this edit icon. You can see uh, this content presenter has uh, this has name. Uh, let me open a notepad and. Uh, copy paste it if we search in uh, UCM the content ID for that content presenter is uh, here we have okay let us set up a workflow for this I've logged in to uh, web center content click on administration admin applets if Java is not enabled please enable it on your browser click on workflow admin under criteria we have Avitek Open World Docs. This is one of the criteria for a workflow. What basically it means is when a content ID, this one what we have copy pasted here, changes, then this particular workflow will get triggered. If it is not enabled, uh, you enable this. You can also disable it if not required. On the criteria if you click on edit when there is a change it needs to be reviewed by an user and the user here we have selected is Sarah you can add a user or you can remove an user from this list uh, but right now we have Sarah here basically what it means is uh, whenever there is a change in uh, content presenter it comes to workflow and uh, the user who's assigned to that particular uh, workflow can review and approve only then it becomes live so now we have workflow in place we are still logged in as Steve here on the web center portal let me try to make changes to this press ctrl shift C go to site studio contributor I would like to make a change here in the text I want to make this say blue bold the content has been changed click on save and close what has happened here is this is pending for review uh, I can press ctrl shift C again I'm out of contribution mode but still I don't see that blue here because it is in UCM workflow document workflow to approve that let me log out
and log in as uh, Sarah. Welcome one. I come to how we take open one page. When I press Control Shift C, Preview Pending Changes. You click on that. You can see that the blue thing uh, that we made change as Steve is here. Uh, the user Sarah can approve or reject these changes. Let us approve it. It's approved. And she presses Control Shift C, and now it is available. That means it is out of workflow. This is how you can define a workflow uh, and uh, show demonstrate a document workflow with from a Web Center portal environment. That is to say, uh, you can pick up a content presenter document uh, based on content ID. You can trigger a workflow and assign it to a particular user. That user can review those documents and then upload it. Thank you.